our camp for the night. We had a bit of rain, so the good weather campers, Mark and Dan, decided to stay in town in Dago in the pub. See this? This is a hat stretcher. Yes. Because when these hats get wet, the leather band in them shrinks, and um, you dampen the dampen the hat, and you stretch it out, and after 10 years, it's still fitting. A lot of uh, Dago General Store, basic supplies, fuel station, and hopefully coffee. Good morning. What, did it not have the right temperature for him? Uh, no, it's a dry one, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> As most of the time, the video doesn't really do it justice. Grady's Creek Road is pretty damn steep and fairly loose. With a rut thrown in, certainly quite interesting drive. I find it more interesting than Billy Goods Bluff, for example. Now we go down Conway, which is supposedly very steep. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think from memory, Conway is actually the one from the bottom. It looks like it's going straight up. So it is steep. It's the only track on the map which is marked as very steep. Um, hasn't been graded. start bushfires and it's a magic spot people just come up here to spoil it if you can bring it in you can take it out pinnacles in the fog look how the clouds come up here We went a bit off the beaten track and trying to have a look at Mount Kent after quite a few detours which ended after or oh, half an hour in 
with man-sized logs and quite a few of them. Someone cleared up to there, but then he must have run out of chainsaw food because that's actually someone tried to cut him, but it didn't go all the way through. Uh, so now we found another way and yeah, hopefully make it to Mount Kent and hopefully we can stay there because it is uh, a bit late now. It's quite fresh here though. And yeah, it has been a long day. But good fun. Billy Goat was yeah, pretty tame but, but fun. Uh, pinnacles, I love the view with the clouds. I think that was very spectacular. The drive out here also interesting, often through cloud, through fog. It's starting to get very ratchet and very rocky. Interesting or? Yep. Is that a five o'clock track? Yep. Any firewood mark? Uh, I'm coming around the bend now. Oh yeah, that, that looks good actually. Can I come up, Mark, or what? I pulled out of the way. The next guy, um, I wouldn't come up just yet. Can you turn around? Is there a place for you to turn around there? Where I'm now? Yeah. Okay, then walk up. Look too crazy here. It is steep. Are you excited, Mark? Not at five o'clock. All right, <laughs> just wait once you're up it. Beautiful. That was awesome, Robert. That was a very good drive. In the clouds. Yeah, it is very warm. So it, it all went so well until. Let me have a look. Let me have a look what's underneath here, Rob. Let me jump out. It went. Just hit front uh, left hand down. Can you go a little bit back? Yeah, you should be able. 20 centimeters. I just want you up here. Okay. Stop. Nice. Just uh, left hand down. Go a bit back. Stop. Beautiful. You're up here. Seven thirty. Rob went up with me up to Mount Kent. I dare to say not many people have been there. It is a fairly interesting trek up the last little bit. It is an interesting fauna up there. It's everywhere these orange flowers, yeah. but with very pretty rocks, with a lot of moss, and then that old trees. It just with that fog, and so it looked very surreal. The moss on the Tree as well. Yeah. Where's Rock? Oh, I left him there. We got hung up on the diff. <laughs> we did actually. But did you see actually before he went up? You know that rock shell? The first one? <laughs> yes. There was actually a big chunk of paint on there. Oh, yeah. yeah? I didn't see that.
it's pretty rustic not really rustic not the prettiest of huts that's for sure I think the river is over there. Yeah. Not too hot. Yeah, that's more the huts I like. Rustic. One thing Rustic. to take note of is that the most maps show Maruka hut um, north of the Maruka road, when in fact it is uh, south of the Maruka road. It's very picturesque here. down the Mount Wellington track, realized it's a one-way track. Um, beautiful views. We now had a look at Miller's hut and drive on to the Sentinels, whatever that is. It's supposedly very little used for wheel drive track. And I guess then we turn around and drive back. However, the plan was to have an early day today at the Caledonia River, but as usual, we didn't make it that far. So we will see if we find a nice camp spot uh, here towards the Sentinels, we may stay here for the night. Um, yeah, we have been driving quite a bit over the past five days, so an early day would be nice. Driving up now from Miller's hut up to the Sentinels. On the rooftop maps it said very little travel and uh, it's actually a little bit interesting for touring track. By a couple of cross up sections, some muddy stuff, a um, couple of small little rock steps. So, not that bad. That's an interesting part. What was it? I think the most interesting for me. Well, it's getting more interesting. Oh, kind of. We're walking to Sentinels if we find them. I wouldn't call it a well defined path. Are these stinging bees? We will soon find out because they're everywhere on me. Olga, wedge tail eagle circling. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the lake down there, Robert. Yeah. We're driving to it. Back out onto uh, the main drag, yeah. Down to Dingo Hill, yeah. And once you reach Dingo Hill, which direction we're did gonna you go down? Dingo Hill, yeah. Get so down here. Then this is beautiful camping here, right next to the river. So that was where we planned to stay a bit longer. So Mark uh, 
Valiant effort, I have to say. I'm very impressed. He had the mini boss out. Put the fire on. Sausages. Is that all Mark or? Uh, is that all uh, Olga? No. The chicken is Olga. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Are we online? Chicken, definitely mm. not. <laughs> Steak, sweet chili sauce, and mixed veggies, and an egg, which has already been devoured. Corn curry, rice, vegetables, salad. A little bit of Toyota maintenance, Robert. <coughs> With my daily checks, I found that one of my V-belts was a bit dodgy, so I'm going to change it, soon I've got a spare one. Yeah. Well, not every morning. But Kelly hut. Oh, okay. Yeah, Holger is doing very well, considering he has pretty much a stock defender with dock tires, AT tires, no lift, no nothing, no diff locks. He is driving pretty good. getting lower I mean that's just if you haven't driven Dingo Hill uh, it just goes on and on and on and it has pretty tight switchbacks uh, with the Defender certainly a few uh, three-point turns some of them you actually could do I could do in one but it would bring you in pretty funny angles It's, that's certainly the most interesting trek, uh, I reckon, so far in the high country, that's for sure. I pulled into a secluded little campsite I found on one of my previous trips. In my book, it is one of the prettiest campsites I've come across in my travels. Matt, thanks a lot for, I don't know whether it was you, for leaving the firewood for us. Greatly appreciate it, mate. And it's certainly a beautiful spot. We leave it as we find it. Robert decided to perform a strange rain dance ceremony for Mark. Little did we know how well it would work the next day. So Robert prepared us for an interesting exit out of the butcher country.
day eight, I think, at uh, Dingo Camp. Robert is packing in after doing his morning exercises. <laughs> Mark is getting ready. Holger did some yoga poses in the morning. We just left Dingo Camp. We were pretty lucky with the weather. Beautiful day yesterday, a lot of swimming, but uh, starry night. But it's yeah, quite a bit of clouds now. Felt the first drops of rain. Um, yeah, it will be, will be interesting, I guess. We're heading now down the Caledonia uh, river track. Oh, up actually and have decided what we're doing from there. Du musst die Rods dreddeln, oben drauf. Ja, ja. Du hast nicht die Clearance mit dem Ding, ne? Ja, ja. Beautiful! Oh. Left hand, right hand down. Straddle that, not the top. <coughs> okay, I, I wouldn't straddle high up. I would just straddle that here. But yeah, try. Okay. That's why. No, no, no. Right hand down. Yeah, I found a truck here at the Caledonia River. Seems to be someone from our neck of the woods or from my neck of the woods. I don't know. Say hello. Stuck in there, wind angle. Beautiful. Stop.
Backwards, zurück. Robert, don't do that if I have the camera in my hand. Wow. Robert, you're making a bit of a mess here. Stop. Robert, put the front locker in. Uh, you have probably 20 centimeters. I don't think that's... No, 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 stop, stop, stop. You're on, the, on top of the lock now with your bar. I think that is a shitty line. See whether you get back, because I don't think from there you get around here. Unless you want to use your slider as a turning point on that log. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, that worked well. Hey Rob, he, he got a drive in one go with their tires. Beautiful. But the weather really starts to deteriorate. It's very windy. And we already saw one big tree coming down. Uh, it starts raining now. Well, I told him to first go slow and now give it. Beautiful. Pretty shitty puddle. I'm still smoking here. Also da so quer rüber. Ich habe halt nur mit der linken Seite das Problem. And I don't even know how I how I pull him from there. You know, if we have to. Yeah, you got great. Ah no, but I'm not going to reverse in here. <laughs> you run the wind here. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna get Robert to go a bit back and get Robert through and then winch. Okay! I went straight through the middle when I went through the puddle and that was certainly deep. I had the water up my windscreen. Oh, not because it was that deep but just from the splash. However, Rob's line actually turned out to be brilliant. Uh, he actually. managed to straddle uh, that deep ruts and um, drive over there fairly easy. So we spent a lot of time trying to figure out a good way for nothing. Not a winching tree. A winching tree. Oh, Robert, good that you did your push-ups this morning. That's a result of vigorous training. And now drive it, drive. Drive, 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 drive a bit, drive, drive, drive. Beautiful.
Get him off that ledge there. Get him off that ledge. You want him in the rut? Seeing the footage now, it really doesn't do the track uh, justice. If you have done Caledonia River, in the dry it is alright, but in the wet um, it is a really interesting track. It is damn steep, very little traction, and if you add the wetness and the moist to it, um, yeah, it becomes a really interesting drive, especially consider that Mark's uh, Discovery 4 and uh, the Defender from Bear Rentals are pretty much stock. Even with the front and rear diff lock engaged, uh, Robert struggled on that bit, realigning the car and taking a slightly different line then made all the difference. Keep in mind that Mark has all terrain tires and it shows now quite nice uh, the Land Rover traction control at work. Super, super. Gut, fahren, fahren, fahren. Super. Thank you. Super. You want advice or not? Uh, go a bit back and align yourself as far as possible to your left that you hug that tree. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Easy. Is it? I said now three times we are nearly out. Yeah, nearly out, we're nearly out. And then oh we're shit. Across the step. Oh, yeah, oh. He's, Mark uh, has a. Uh, Fuck, okay. I saw it when you were driving. We had Howard's hut. As always, it is freezing. 